Here's eight quick steps to help you find website clients. In this module, we're going to discuss picking a niche. Now, if you want to understand how to pick a niche, you have to understand the thought process to picking a niche. The first thing is you want to make sure that your prospect is going to be able to afford to pay you. Now, higher ticket niches are really good for that. But what kind of higher ticket niches? Because not all are built the same. Realistically, if you think about this, plastic surgeons, they could be a great niche for you to sell a website to. But do you think you're ever going to get them on the phone? Probably not because they're doing plastic surgery. They probably have an assistant at the desk or a receptionist. Uh, same thing for somebody managing their email. So it'd be incredibly hard. But what are some higher ticket niches of people who probably manage their own emails? maybe roofers, maybe painters, landscapers. Those are a bit more high ticket and it's likely that the owner possibly manages their emails, much more so than a plastic surgeon would be managing their emails. So all of those were really good with the exception of the plastic surgeon. If you can get one, of course, go for it. I'm not saying don't, but if you're gonna be cold calling or cold emailing or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you're actually gonna be able to reach the decision maker because at most of these companies, they have a receptionist or an assistant specifically to make sure you do not get through. And that is one of the things that you want to understand is make sure you're going to be able to reach this person. Another thing to consider is obviously making sure that they can afford it. A restaurant or a barber shop is likely not going to pay you a couple of thousand dollars for a website. Realistically, that's not saying that no restaurants or no barber shops will because they have for sure. But realistically, we're talking about numbers. Now, who would be able to afford it? That's the first thing. Also, where are they located? Are they in a small town of 20 to 30 or 40,000 people? Are they struggling to make ends meet? Realistically, even if they are a bit more high ticket, are, do they actually have the work? So where are you prospecting? That's another thing to consider. So these are some of the variables you wanna take into consideration. So with this video, the main thing that I would take away from it is one, understand the factors when picking a high ticket niche, and two, making sure that you pick one that you think that you'll actually be able to get through to and they'll be able to afford it. Now, realistically, guys, one of the things that I like to consider when picking a high ticket niche is, do I actually know anything about this industry and will I actually be able to help them? So if you have a higher ticket industry that you maybe did roofing before or you were a painter or HVAC or whatever it is, these are all great niches. Some people call them niches. Um, I like niche, but these are all great niches for you to be able to get into. Um, also, another thing, if you've been a specialist in something before, you can actually make a niche website agency, which you will notice that we talk about that in our course later, how to scale. Um, if you've been involved with a certain type of company for a certain number of years and you have that expertise, that is something that you would be able to niche down into and become a specialist. Not only will it be easier for you to close deals, but you'll be able to get paid more for being a specialist. Now, I don't want to get off topic too much with picking a niche, but I did want to put that out there for you to think about. Now, realistically, guys, I think that it's incredibly important that you guys pick the right niche because if you don't, it's going to be really hard for you guys to close. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys got some value from it and I hope it got your gears running as to what kind of niche you should be able to contact. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.